John Hodges. Husband's name is Arthur Hodges. We were married in 1960, spent two years in Norfolk, Virginia. Actually, as he said, we weren't supposed to know anything. And yet, but they knew everything back home. In fact, uh, the wife of a Marine was the one that told us where they were. <laughs> and yet, so she said, it's where your husbands are. And yet, you know, a little bit afraid, you know, because you hear all the stories, you really don't know. You really don't know what's going on. You're a little bit, yeah, are they going to come back or is this going to be war? And that, but, uh, you know, but then we, we got to it. When they were out to sea, she would stay with me or I would stay with her, eat our meals together. Uh, and that's the way we, we had it. And, uh, as I said, we never had a lot of money, but we managed to do things, find things to do, and, uh, and, yeah, and we remained friends. Uh, through all, as he told you the story, we'd send Christmas cards back and forth, and, uh, and we lost contact, because he stayed in the service, and uh, then we found him on the internet. <laughs> And we went down, they lived in Newport News, we went down to visit them, and it was just like we had seen them two days before. Got right back into the whole swing, talking and everything. After he got out, as he said, uh, things were really kind of, when we went back, it was like a different kind of a world. And I had said to him, Actually, I wish you would have stayed in, and yet, and uh, because it was so different, it it's people don't realize it, but there is a big difference between civilian life and Navy, Army, Marines, and yet I found it to be that way, and yet I found it more you you have to depend on other people more. There and we found we did. <laughs> we depended on each other. Mm -hmm.